when you're just starting to use your FortiGate, there are some things that needs to be clarified. One of them is when you're configuring a DHCP service on one of the interfaces, and when you get to the more advanced features, you see that you have the IP address assignment rules. Now, one of the very first things that you will see is the unknown MAC address with an action of assigned IP. And the second thing is when you create new, you have in the action part two options that are quite confusing. The first one is reserve IP and the second one is assign IP. What is the difference? Coming up. If you're learning for the NSC4 certification, then this might be a question that you will be asked. So the very first thing is to know that the unknown MAC address with the assign IP can be changed. You can right click on it and change the action to block. The default settings is that whenever your FortiGate sees a MAC address that is not on the list, then it will assign IP. You can change it to make it block the IP. The second thing, when you create new and you actually bind a MAC address to a specific action, then you have three options. The first one, let's just create a MAC address. All right. The first one is to reserve an IP. Now, uh, this interface is at the 10.0.7.0 subnet. Uh, the pool actually lists only 33 IP address. So let's create an IP address at the range. So it will be, so that MAC address will always get the 10.0.7.22. The second option is to block that specific MAC address whenever your FortiGate sees that MAC address, it will not list an IP address. The assign IP doesn't reserve an IP, a specific IP address for that MAC address. It will get an IP address from the pool. It doesn't reserve any specific IP address, but it will always get the same IP address as it got before. So if the list time will not end, it will always get the same IP address.